What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys haven't shopped on my website before, basically I just curate a bunch of sneaker deals for you guys and then post them on the web. And hopefully you guys can find some good deals out there. Uh, in this video though, I have three pairs of sneakers from APL. Big shout out to APL for sending these over. The price points on these are crazy. I looked them up. These are $300 each and then this is $400. So grand total for three pairs is $1,000. Uh, really insane basketball shoe the most expensive basketball shoes I've seen released in 2020 so far and that's even more than the self-lacing adapt BB's uh, the Nike basketball shoes that have the self laces uh, this one is an anniversary a 10 year anniversary of this load and launch technology from APL that released 10 years ago and was banned by the NBA because they had actually springs in the shoe but it's been a really controversial sneaker technology in the past I'm not sure if they're still banned by the NBA. I honestly don't know how that would work, but I will say that the shoe looks pretty rad, but there's a couple really cool key features that I'll get into that I'll show you guys in the flagship right here. This is the APL Concept X. And then also they sent over the Super Future, which does have a couple of cool features on these that I like uh, as well. So they are different, which is one thing that I'll say from the beginning that I like. You have a flagship model, the Concept X, that has more bells and whistles than the knockdown version, if you're gonna even call this a knockdown version at $300. But there's definitely more tech on the Concept X. It came with a couple little cards here that give information about both of the shoes, at kind of a high level. But this is actually really smart, but also just the overall branding behind the new product line has been really, really smart. It's been really easy to follow along, understand conceptually what they're doing, and a detailed look from the pictures of what the technology offers and what is different about the two pairs of shoes. So I think that they did a really smart approach with that, which is something that's commendable because I wanna say Nike, a lot of times nowadays, they just release stuff and there's really no press release information with it. It's actually sometimes really difficult to follow along with. Uh, and APL is, is doing a really nice job with that at least. So it says the introduction of the APL Super Future and Concept X basketball shoe released on 10-19-2020 to commemorate the anniversary of APL's patented load and launch technology, which was banned by the NBA. The Super Future has everything that you loved about the original Concept 1 and updated it in a modern package. The lightweight engineering and use of space age materials will bring your game to new heights. But this one's properly named the Concept X because obviously 10 years in. 10 years in the making, the Concept X again revolutionizes the game of basketball, taking everything we've learned over the past decade of research, design and development across the entire footwear landscape. We once again bring you something new and never before seen to the athletes to further their journey in jump. So this again has some technology in here, which is crazy. And one thing that I really like, as you could see from this, so they kind of took note after the Air Jordan 11 holiday pack where you have that plastic uh, pull out, which is really nice. I like the fact that they did that. Not too many boxes actually offer that, but this one actually had some functionality to it. Unlike the Jordan boxes, this actually has information about what the technology is, which again, they're not lacking in their storytelling, which is really helpful when you have a brand that does a massive relaunch like this. So on this, it says load and launch carbon 10. It has a full length carbon fiber plate. It has a hinge pin, a top plate, 10 coil springs, a high rebound foam nest, and then a bottom plate. And that technology is all embedded in the midsole of this new sneaker. And the best part about it is you can actually see it. Smart moves by using clear outsoles. You can actually see the hinge pin down here. And this is the bottom plate, obviously, since it's the bottom of the shoe. And then even for the traction points, you could see they actually have 10 circles for the 10 spring locations underfoot. So again, really easy to see the technology on paper and then actually on the product. And then down here on the back of the shoe, you can actually see the carbon fiber plate, part of it at least as it runs through the entire uh, midsole of the shoe. So the midsole is definitely loaded in technology, but the counterpart to it, which is this upper, is actually done really, really nice as well. So on the Concept X, the upper is actually 100% knit, but it's done in a bunch of different types of threads. Some of the parts on the upper is actually really stiff and firm and definitely adds a lot more structure than it would look like on a knit upper. But then also you have really stretchable materials, especially around the collar of the ankle and then obviously through the tongue as well. The material over the toe box is actually a little bit thicker and then it's actually quite breathable. And then again, you have an extra double guard or double knit section around the toe cap of the shoe and then up through the cages on both sides as the laces come together. You also do have a stretchy band on the back of the shoe that helps lock down your foot and then extra support on the heel of the shoe as well. So obviously the big selling point about these shoes is that they were banned in the NBA and will it actually increase your vertical? I'm not here to speak 
on that specifically because I'm not going to increase my vertical. I'm not a training athlete that's going to be trying uh, to increase my vert. Although maybe I should be because I have a basketball hoop across the street and someday I'm going to have to start playing with a kid once he can actually throw the ball up high enough uh, to the hoop. But these offer a lot of controversy because of that technology. And so the $400 price point on the Concept X, is it worth paying $400 for? Will it increase your vertical? Those are questions that you'll have to ask yourself if you try the shoe out, because I don't know. I'm not going to be giving these a vertical challenge test, although it would be fun to, to try to do. I'm sure you guys would like to see an overweight Asian guy try to jump really high. Not probably the best look. What I can do is tell you guys from a comfort perspective how these fit from my feet personally. And so for that, I would say that comfort is actually really good on these shoes. When you put these on, like it took a little bit of finessing to loosen the laces. Once you got the laces loosened up, Put these on feet, it's actually really snug. The tech loom on this is similar to the tech loom that I've tried in others, and the tech loom is the upper material. It's really comfortable on feet. Sometimes I wear some of my APL shoes with socks, sometimes I wear them without. I actually tried these on without socks just to see if it was really rough underneath because this is kind of a rough textured material on top. But on foot, they actually have the soft little liner on the inside, so they're really soft and comfortable on feet. As for the midsole cushion and the, the plates and stuff in the front, I don't feel like I'm jumping on springs, if you will. But again, if you're testing these out for actually jumping higher, you're gonna notice a higher impact when you're forcing down compressing and then springing off, that's when you're gonna notice like that squishing feel up and down. So when you're walking around, I don't feel that because I'm not jumping and compressing as hard. So I don't notice it. So if you're wearing these casually, I would say it's not something that disrupts your foot, which is a plus. Sometimes you can have extra contraptions on the shoes and it just doesn't feel as good on feet because uh, of them not being used for the intended purpose. I would say these fit true to size, maybe a little bit snug if you wear thicker socks, but if you're buying these to actually play ball, um, sometimes you, you want something that doesn't have a lot of extra wiggle room. So I, I would say if I was hooping in these, true to size would actually work for me. For casual wear though, I always like to go up a half a size. I think that the shoes look awesome. $400 is the crazy steep price point, but that's the early adopter price anyway when you're buying the latest and greatest technology that drops on the market. So subjectively $400, if you have the extra money lying around and you like APL and you liked the concept one from years and years ago and you want the 10 year anniversary sneaker from that, then I think it's a great option for you if you're looking for that. Will it actually help you jump higher or not? Well, again, a subjective thing, but in my honest opinion, it would have to take the right person with the right skill set to make their vertical better if they had these shoes, like maybe it could or could not make a difference. I will say that the technology that they offer and just the overall fit and cushion of the shoe on feet feels pretty good. You guys know from my channel, I definitely prefer a max cushion shoe, but that doesn't mean that's all I ever try. I have Vans, I have Chucks, I have Air Jordan 1s. Those are all firmer cushion systems. This is definitely on a firmer spectrum, which is gonna be needed for a pair of basketball sneakers like this because you're not gonna be able to rebound off of your compression if you have something that's too soft. So these do offer a firmer midsole, but I do like the cushioning under the heel section of the shoe. It does feel like some nice cushioning there, especially when you're jumping off and then landing back down, like you'll have some impact protection back here. The original one had eight springs, this one has 10. It's definitely a bigger spring plate on the bottom of the shoe. I think the overall construction and design is really quite seamless in the shoe. When I'm walking around on the shoes, I feel a nice heel toe transition. I don't feel like a bunch of jerkiness in the front section of the shoe where you have that massive um, spring in the front. Like this is basically like Nike shocks realized into something that's more functional. And I think that they definitely developed a really crazy pair of sneakers. Do I really think it's gonna increase your vertical? Again, I think it comes to the individual and the amount of practice that they put in, whether or not their vertical is gonna increase. You, you're not gonna put these on and all of a sudden have a trampling on your feet and jump higher because it has springs in it. One thing that I actually liked about the Super Future that's different than the other one is the lacing system. It's a cross strap right here instead. So it kind of gives you like a, so it kind of gives you like that futuristic like Air Jordan 8 or Nike Air Raid vibe because of the cross straps. And although this is like an, a massive high top, I actually like the design of it. It kind of gives you like a more futuristic Jerry Lorenzo sort of vibe uh, to that. Also, one thing, dudes, can you imagine this? Like, imagine if they didn't do the sock liner and they just did a mid top. I think that this would look crazy, crazy good. So, I mean, honestly, I was thinking about doing a little surgery on this shoe and removing this top section right here or just tucking it in. I think it looks better like this. Um, just from a overall visual perspective than like this with the sock. But the sock liner is definitely nice if you're actually gonna be hooping these, obviously. But what do you guys think about the APL basketball sneakers? $400 is a lot of money, but um, this is a really cool looking pair of sneakers and I love the technology in sneakers and what more technology can they have in a pair of sneakers in like something like this? I mean, this is insane. Anyways, leave your thoughts on what you guys think about the Concept X uh, from APL as well as the Super Futures. 
Just curious to see if you guys have heard about them or not, or is this your introduction? And if you have heard about them, again, leave comments and let other people know what you guys think about them from a performance perspective or not. I haven't seen a performance review or anything like that on these, but I'd like to see one because I feel like these would actually perform really, really well on court. The traction is super sticky. The overall upper construction is really, really nice. It was a thoughtful product that they actually created here in 10 years in the making. Uh, I think that they did a really good job and a nice future evolution from something that they created that was banned 10 years ago. But anyway, that's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, shout out to APL for sending the care package over. If you guys are interested in buying either of these shoes, check the link in the description. Take it over to APL's page. Have a great rest of the day though, and we'll see you guys back for some more videos. Peace guys.